In this video, I'm going to be showing the wiring concept behind the wiring of this kind of telephone socket using a CAT6 network cable like this. In the first place, I will want to um, mention that a socket of this nature has pins within it. Um, when you look inside, there are pins in there to which each of the cables that are behind the socket have been wired or connected into. And so with the makeup of this kind of telephone socket, you realize that the four pins have been connected or labeled in this manner. The first pin has been connected to the black cable. The second pin has been connected to the red cable. The third has been connected to the green and the fourth to the yellow. And so that is a kind of order that must be maintained in order to be able to successfully wire this kind of telephone socket. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to be using the blue pair and also the orange pair. What I mostly do is to use the orange or the striped orange as my pin one, my blue or the solid blue as my pin two. And then pin three, I use the striped blue. And finally, the fourth pin, I normally use the, the solid orange, which means that this is the order I will always follow through when I'm doing my installation or in this particular setup. If it's a particular setup I'm doing, if I choose this kind of convention, that is what I need to use to follow through in every termination I need to do. So for example, as I hold it, if I use the striped orange as my pin one, it means that that would be connected to the black conductor in the telephone socket. So the orange pair will be connected here and the same process or the same step goes. So blue will go to red and then the striped blue will go to green and then the orange will go to the orange will then go to the, the yellow. So let's try and do that wiring. But remember, when you do this, it means that at the other end of the cut, cut six would follow the same convention in the termination of the RJ11 modular plug as well. But before I talk about this other end, let's wire the these cables to this kind of um, socket first. So we'll do that by first losing each of the the screws behind the points that will be putting in the cable. So I will lose the four of them before I start putting or adding the CAT6 network cable. So as I said, the, the my cable number one or pin one is my striped orange, which means that it will go to black because black is pin one on this. So it means that the striped orange will go to black. I'll just uh, put it around it. Once I put it around it uh, with my hand, I'll just tighten it before I go to place the next one. Make sure it's tight. And I said my pin 2 is my blue. And uh, pin 2 here on the order, the arrangement, pin 2 is red. So I'll just put the blue at the red point where the red is connected. I'll put it around it. And... Uh, tighten it also so this is for pin 2 once pin 2 is done my pin 3 is the striped blue and when we come to the socket here you see that uh, the first one is black the second is red the third one is green so it means that my third um, cable which is the striped blue will go to green and uh, green is at the side here this is the green terminal the green is at the side here so i'll use my striped blue to put around the the green once it is there we'll tighten it also using the screwdriver so it is there so obviously the last one which is the yellow is where we'll put the We'll put the orange pair of or the orange conductor of the network cable. So the orange goes to this point. We'll tie it around. We'll put it around it. And then once it is done, we'll just screw it up to hold it down. 
all right so all of them have gone but you need to carefully inspect to be sure that there are no ss conductors for instance a conductor of that nature a conductor like this must be cut off so um i'll quickly i'll quickly get my cutting ply and cut out my my ss conductor so here's my cutting ply i will cut off this ss conductor so that it doesn't have to touch any other conductor in there and so apart from that i think there is no other ss conductor so essentially this socket has been wired that is at the socket side so now that this is wired the same principle must be used at this other end of the conductor in the first place we are using the blue pair and then the orange pair so the other two pairs will have to be isolated away once that isolation is done this is the convention we used we've used the striped orange as our pin number one or cable number one we used the blue as cable number two we used the striped blue as cable number three and then the solid orange as cable number four so this is an arrangement that you need to use when you are facing the rj11 onto the the this kind of cable because we used that kind of arrangement at this side that arrangement should be followed through at this side of the cable as well so when i take an rj11 modular plug like this and i prepare this cable this is how it will go onto the cable using the same kind of rule or the same kind of numbering that i applied in the setup of my socket so this is what is done now i decided to use this kind of order you may decide to choose okay i want to use my pin one you will want to use pin one as solid orange pin two you may decide to use solid blue and pin three you may even decide to use some of this to do your order once you use or you choose your own order you do your own order at this point that same order should be followed through at this other end of the cable so the choice is yours but you must make sure that whatever order you use in wiring your socket that same order should be maintained in putting up your rj11 on your modular plug so that the connection between your socket and your pbs system will be true and your system will work for you so that is something you should put at the back of your mind when setting up your telephone socket thank you so much for watching i will expect your comments and questions or anything that you want to contribute to this video i would gladly appreciate it thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye bye